I always say the best tech solves a problem. So I wanna talk about my five favorite pieces of tech and gear that I purchased in 2022 that truly did help me solve some problems. The first one is the Xsonic AirStep MIDI controller. It's a wireless Bluetooth foot controller that now I am using to control and fire all of our tracks for our Sunday morning worship times from stage. But it's my favorite pedal because I can control pro presenters starting and stopping of timelines. I now am the one in control. I'm not having to like nod my head to the people in the back, like go ahead and start the next song. And I can clear things, I can stop things. If something goes wrong, I'm not having to rely on something else, someone else to stop the tracks. And it has just been, it's kind of been a game changer and it's super cheap. Um, there's other things out there like it, the Looptimus, um, but this one, the flexibility and the uh, app that comes with it so you can program things super easily is, it's been great. It's my favorite buy of 2022. I will link to all of these products in the description. Those will be affiliate links. I get a tiny kickback and I'll also link to the videos of these deep dives of these products that I've done in 2022. So that was number one, the AirStep controller. The second one would probably have to be the variable white zoom pars from Boulder. Uh, we've got six of these now and they're super affordable. I think they're about $350 on Amazon and Boulder actually, I, I got in contact with them after purchasing their RGB units about a year ago. And I said, hey, if you had a variable white version of these, man, churches would, would love these. I know I would. And so they actually made the units and started selling them. And I've been super impressed with them. They're not perfect, but for the control that you get, the variable white, the, the intensity, all of those features, man, we have used them way more than I thought we were going to use them. So if that's something you need is some better key light in your sanctuary and maybe some more flexible key lighting, then check those out. I'll link those in the description as well. The third thing that I've just found super valuable that I was kind of hesitant to jump into was buying Stream Decks. And we have a Stream Deck Mini and a Stream Deck, just like the normal size one. I don't know if that's the XL or not. And we are just all the time thinking and finding ways <laughs> of how to use these little Stream Decks combined with Companion, whether that's to automatically fire recordings on our M32 soundboard or uh, choosing different ATEM macros while sending content through ProPresenter all at the push of one button. So these multi-step processes that, you know, we couldn't really do before, they've come in handy. And now that we've upgraded to the ATEM 2ME video coming soon, we're using the larger stream deck to control all of that because you know we just don't have an actual physical controller for it and the stream deck is working really, really well. So you can pick these up pretty cheap. They're different prices all the time. So I'll link to the ones we're using in the description of this video. Uh, the fourth favorite item, which is kind of a group of items, is got to be the mobile video announcement rig that I put together. You know, you've seen these all over the place if you're on YouTube much, but I have been just loving using this thing. We, we use it every week. We're about to go use it right now, actually. We have video announcements scheduled in 30 minutes. So um, just the fact that I can roll everything out there, throw the camera on it, throw the teleprompter on it, lights already on it, V-mount battery, we're good to go. It has just made life so much simpler and me not hate doing video announcements quite as much. <laughs> so check out that video and all of the items that we used for that to put that together. And last would have to be something that I haven't even talked about on this channel before is just getting some new headphones for front of house. Um, we picked up these Audio-Technica, uh, what are they, M50Xs, I think. I'll link to these in the description. But, uh, you know, we were using some just really janky headphones for front of house, and whenever I would go back and have to remix stream stuff, you know, it was just kind of a guessing game. I think they were mono price ones. They're okay, but these headphones right here, not too expensive, and they do a great job. So those are my favorite five products we did purchase among all the other things that we spent budget money on. Um, they've solved a lot of problems for us. Probably the worst product that I bought in 2022 that I quickly returned was the Insta360 Go camera. You know, I bought that to do some stuff here on the channel and 
it was just it was just junk and you know watching other youtube reviewers talk about how amazing it was my high my hopes were just really high and so i hope that i never do that to you guys i hope that the things that i recommend on this channel you can trust that i'm actually using them in our church from a guy who doesn't have this giant budget um and even as people approach me about reviewing products you know i'm gonna be honest and say what i think um about them so there you go there's my top five in 2022 looking forward to just trying some new tech in 2023 as we do great things for god's glory we'll see you guys in the next one